She's Mia. And he's Gabe. And this is CDS TV. People let me tell you about my best friend. He's a warm hearted person who loved me till the end. People let me tell you about my best friend. He's a one boy cuddly toy. My up, my down, my pride and joy. People let me tell you about him. He's so much fun. Whether we're talking man to man or whether we're talking son to son. Cause he's my best This year, getting a flu vaccine is more important than ever. Vaccines protect yourself and the people around you and help reduce the strain on our healthcare systems. Seasonal flu shots protect against the most common influenza viruses during the upcoming season. While getting your shot, talk to your doctor and make sure you're up to date on all your childhood immunizations. Students must have proof of all required immunizations or a valid exemption in order to attend school in the state of Arizona. They say it's the most wonderful season of the year, but it can be the most stressful too. If you're struggling or are worried about a friend, please reach out and talk to someone. You can call or text the Teen Lifeline number on the back of your school ID or talk with another teen who knows what you're going through. Remember, there is help and there is hope. The virtual chess season begins January 18th. Email Mr. Yee with questions. Tempe Diablos is accepting nominations for Tempe Union Educators for the 2021 Tempe Diablos Charities Excellence in Education Award. Submissions are due January 29th and can be found at www.tempediablos.org. Remember, Mr. Forbes' name is spelled F-O-R-B-E-S. Good luck. Stay tuned for some CDS TV original content. With the impeachment of President Trump and the quickly approaching inauguration of Joe Biden, it's easy to get caught up in all the current political drama and fake news. But let's take a moment to step back and look at one of journalism's biggest presidential mess-ups. In 2011, an article by Cracked sparked a rumor that President John Quincy Adams approved an expedition to the center of the Earth. This half-truth spiraled out of control, eventually being published by big, notable sources like the Smithsonian. But what exactly was this rumor, and how did it start? The story goes like this. In the 1820s, President John Quincy Adams approved an expedition to the center of the Earth. At the time, the Hollow Earth theory was growing in popularity, and it was endorsed by many notable figures, such as American Army officer John Cleve Sims Jr. Sims proposed the expedition and claimed that the North and South Poles could be used to get inside the Earth. His plan included meeting with a race of people living at the core and conducting trade with them. According to the story, Adams approved the plan, even writing in his own memoir that Sims' ideas were visionary. Unfortunately, his term ended before it could be carried out, and President Andrew Jackson quickly shut down the expedition. But here's how things really happened. It's no secret that Adams was interested in an expedition to the South Pole. However, this had nothing to do with finding the mole people at the Earth's core. Furthermore, the president's description of Sims' visionary ideas had a completely different connotation back then than it does now. Back in his day, visionary was a polite way of saying insane. So yes, Adams did approve an expedition to the Poles, but that's where the truth of the story ends. Everything else was just a wild misinterpretation of history. Which goes to show that you should always be cautious of the sources that your news comes from. Make sure to follow reliable media while reading up on the news, especially in these coming weeks. Last week, Burger King changed their logo and well, basically everything, and they haven't made such big of a change in 20 years. The new logo got rid of the somewhat iconic blue curve that has been on it since 1999, while also putting a redesign on their classic logo that had a couple variations from 1969 to 1999. Coincidentally, they have used their classic logos for some promotions in recent years, but their main logo has still been the one with the circular shiny burger with a blue curve around it until last week. The rebrand has also come with a custom-made font called Flame, which Burger King says evokes the natural, organic shapes of their food. Burger King employees have new uniforms and are actually featured in its new ads and promotional pictures. The iconic Burger King crown that everyone would wear and become some godlike figure was updated. Going off of their recent commercial promoting their new $1 menu, the mascot that I would have in my nightmares was also updated. 
In other words, Burger King's rebrand is a whopper of a change and for the most part has had positive feedback on social media, unlike other modern rebrands. school it's simple Mia I follow several social media groups across the school like these they're all on Twitter and Instagram and they send out information frequently about what the school is doing Aztecs do you know someone who will be an incoming freshman next year make sure to have them check out our freshman showcase on January 20th to find out why Corona del Sol is the best school in the history of the world the universe and everything it premieres at 4 o'clock on the school website the cost of a 2021 yearbook is $70 Pre-order your 2021 yearbook to reserve a copy as they've sold out in advance the last several years. Go to www.yearbookordercenter.com and use the code 6928. Contact Ms. Nicholson if you have any questions. The U.S. Air Force Academy Summer Seminar Application Portal is open, but the last day is today. This is specially designed for juniors heading into the senior year to know what it is like to live in the U.S. Air Force Academy. Go to this website for more information. And here's Frank with the weather. Thanks, Gabe. Hi, I'm Frank, and this is your weekend weather forecast. On Friday, it's going to be a high of 78 and a low of 45. On Saturday, it's going to be a high of 77 and a low of 44. On Sunday, it's going to be a high of 75 and a low of 44. This has been your weekend forecast, Aztecs. See you next time. Winter sports are back on. On Tuesday, four days after the cancellation of the winter sports season, the Arizona Interscholastic Association voted five against four for winter sports to go on. On January 18th, basketball, soccer, and wrestling practice will begin. This time, masks are mandatory. No spectators other than two parents or guardians per athlete will be allowed to watch the games. In addition to the mask mandates, athletes will have to submit a COVID-19 monitoring form, assuring that they meet the requirements for participation. Be safe and have a great season, Corona. I'm Mia. And I'm Gabe. And this was CDS TV. TV.